I, I'm just tired of it. But congratulations to uh, Jimbo Fisher, uh, the Texas A&M program, uh, a gutsy. Uh, they broke the tie against UMass, a team had, what, Matt, it had seven straight losses or eight. I can't remember. And did you see the uh, picture of the stadium at the end of the game? Uh, there were at least there were at least 15 or 20 parents still left. That is that what, what constant you know better than anyone having covered this conference for your entire professional career. What constitutes rock bottom in the SEC? Um, South, uh, I, you know, it's one thing to go over, but we were, we're not talking about over with with uh, with Texas A&M. I mean, they're they're pretty close to it. I, I'd say that if they if they drop this game on Saturday against LSU. Uh, it, it's as low as you can go. And, you know, there aren't many circumstances. I covered one at Alabama. You had a number three team in the country under Mike Dubose end up uh, with, uh, end up three and eight. Uh, this is as close to that as I can remember, except Mike Dubose was a stumbling idiot who was just <laughs> given, was just given the job. Uh, he survived a, a, a scandal uh, with, with his secretary to beat Steve Spurrier twice in one season, only to, to have the, the misery extended. We're not talking about, uh, he wasn't being paid. He wasn't the highest paid coach in the country like Jimbo Fisher uh, you know, is. And, and by the way, on that buyout to Jimbo, I, I saw a chart of it last night, Matt. It's 86 now. It goes to 76. Two years from now, it's 66. It's not like that thing goes away. It's, it's still, uh, you know, do you want to bite into – $50 million in three or four years and hope your program has recovered or do you write a check for $86 million now? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.